Hello everybody. I have pulled up a book from Epic about prepositions and I want to read that to you. Uh, prepositions. Um, here are some examples on the front. Over, between, and under. And here's our table of contents. You can see we've got several chapters there. Here we go. What is a preposition? In the morning, Skipper runs between the rows of apple trees along the edge of the park. Those are some more examples. You're going to notice that all of the prepositions in this book are made in color, like the ones I just read are in, in the color red. But you'll notice at the bottom there's all kinds of colors for the different prepositions. Okay, here we go. All the red words in this sentence are prepositions. They connect words with one another. Many prepositions are short words. In, on, of, at, and by. Others are much longer, such as between, outside, underneath, and throughout. And you can see the dog saying, I dug under the fence. What would you do without prepositions? You'd have trouble saying anything at all. Prepositions can point out a time on Tuesday, in July, at noon, by three o'clock, around midnight, between classes. And the walrus is saying, I like snacks, around midnight. And you can see the prepositions on this page, on, in, at, by, around, between. <laughs> There's lots of them. Prepositions can point out a place, on the chair, in school at the library, by the benches, around the corner, between your eyes. And this man in the library is saying, I put the trophy I want at school, on a shelf, in the library, by the books. So the prepositions on this page, on, in, at, by, around, between. Or they can describe something. The monster with the blue nose, books for class, a longhorn steer from Texas. I'm the monster with the blue nose. I'm the monster with the red nose. So the prepositions on this page, with, for, and from. It never stands alone. Put the hamster cage behind the couch. This story was written about me. This trophy belongs to her. I've been confused until now. A preposition never stands alone. It is always followed by the word or words it is linking to the rest of the sentence. This word or phrase is called the object. The orange words above are prepositions. The italic words are the objects. The object answers a question, who, I'm sorry, whom, where, or when. Put the cage behind where? Behind the couch. And the dad there is saying, this hamster belongs to whom? And the little girl says, to me. So the prepositions on this page, behind, about, to, and until. Okay, and we've learned on this page that prepositions are always um, talking about an object, which is the noun in the sentence. At the beginning. A preposition and its object can also go at the beginning of a sentence. When this phrase comes first, a comma usually follows it. So when the preposition's at the beginning of the sentence, okay, let's look at these examples. In the shadows, comma, a yellow bird appeared. Across the marsh, comma, we heard the sounds of croaking frogs. At sunset, comma, the guards lowered the flag. And over in the a picture, from the bushes, comma, the monster can see me. One will do. The monster likes fish for breakfast and for lunch. Some flowers grow in spring, in summer, and in fall. Sometimes you don't have to repeat the preposition like in the examples above. 
These sentences work better if you remove the extra prepositions. So the example on the bottom here is a better way to write them because you really only need one preposition. Let's look at this example. The monster likes fish for breakfast and lunch. Some flowers grow in spring, summer, and fall. And the example in the picture, I like cake for breakfast and lunch and dinner. Sometimes people use two prepositions in a row when one will do just fine. Like you can see in this um, sentence, they've crossed off of because you really only need the word off. The pie fell off the window sill. And then here, they, the next one they've marked out of because you really only need inside. The critter stayed inside its cave. And the example in the picture, please take the hat off your head. According to me, he was out of control. I'll have peas instead of broccoli. According to Bill, the party's over. Sometimes several words act together as a preposition. In this case, you need all the words. Other examples are in addition to, in regard to, on account of, in spite of. In the example in the picture, in addition to swimming, I also like biking and running. So those are some extra exa um, examples of how to use prepositions. Lots of prepositions. A frog sits on a log in the reeds near the edge of the pond. Sometimes it takes a lot of prepositions to say what you mean. The sentence above tells exactly where that frog is. How many prepositions can you use in a sentence? The picture on the bottom says, I'm sitting on the mat with the fish in the dish. So prepositions can be really fun when you're writing. Um, prepositions help you to understand what you're reading, and it also helps you to, you can use them to describe what you're trying to write about to make other people be able to read what you're saying better and understand it. I hope you have learned a little more about prepositions with me reading this book from Epic. There are lots more books about prepositions on Epic, so you can log on to your account and put in the search to look up prepositions and you can see all the books there. All right, boys and girls, till next time. Goodbye.